Johnson and Johnson's baby wow. shower. And I think the one that we have just says, does it say baby shampoo? Oh, it says head to toe baby, the baby wash. Sometimes they'll say just baby shampoo. Sometimes it'll just say body wash, but you can really use all of them all over them. Yeah. I kind of like it. So what you want to do is kind of start with the face, the eyes. You want to clean from the inner to the outer part. Of course, he's got his eyes open, but he'll close. And just kind of gently wipe. And then you want to change the area that you use. You can to go to the other eye, just in case he was maybe starting to get an eye infection or something and you don't even know it, but you just never want to introduce germs from one eye into the other. Ah, oh, no. Kind of just clean the nose. But you don't, you know, you want to make sure it's not too wet so that you're not getting the water in his nose. Okay. Yeah. Kind of clean his mouth, his chin. behind the ears. I know you always heard that old saying, clean behind your ears. With these babies, they can get, um, I noticed with my son, like an area that he would get mm -hmm. real bad is like right here. Mm -hmm. um, and, and sometimes that's because they, when they drink bottles and stuff, sometimes milk can go down, you know, go down there and maybe mm -hmm. you don't realize it and gets behind their ear. It can be just because that's an area where fungus is apt to develop. Any kind of skin fold, fungus is going to be more apt to grow and get yeast infections and things like that. So you just want to kind of gently wipe back there, help clear from being any residue. And then we're just going to kind of put some water over some of the now, if his hair was really bad, like they are, like when, when they're first born, a lot of times they'll have like stuff stuck in their hair from just from the birth. Mm -hmm. um, so, in those cases, we'll take like a hairbrush and kind of kind of scrub their head a little bit gently scrub mm -hmm. their head with a hairbrush too to get the stuff out of their hair so like if he ever were to you know vomit or something mm -hmm. like that where it got all in his hair you might need to do that but usually you can just use your hands and just kind of gently kind of massage his head just like you would do for yourself mm -hmm. so I wouldn't use soap on his face so okay. I clean that first okay even though it's no more tears, it's still, if you ever want to test it, put a little bit of that in your eyes, I promise you it is not as gentle as they say. Really? It's still, if you get it in your eyes, you're going to be like, oh, it's kind of this sting. So, that's just a little mom to mom there. Ooh, I know that's cold. I'm sorry. Of course, my nose never runs until I'm doing something. I'm <laughs> sick, but anytime I get in a baby's bed, it just start running. There you go. Just kind of rub the soap on him. I think this is his first one ever. Really? I think so, yeah. Because I asked her and she was like, I don't know. Well, sometimes we can't do a full bath. I don't know when his pores came off, but definitely cannot get them wet until the pores comes off. So we'll yeah, do like the It's probably baths. been, yeah, about a week ago. His pores came off. How long has he been on this side? Because I probably two weeks probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he's been here like four weeks. Yeah. Well, you're gonna jerk yourself if you throw your whole face over on me. Just want to support the neck and stuff. Where are you trying to go? Are you trying to leave that bath? You don't choke yourself, baby. I'm just trying to throw his whole neck on my head. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to use any more soap because I got this water pretty soapy. It's okay. Yeah, stick his whole head in the water. You can. <laughs> no, I said like. Yeah, we can. I like, like his hair. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Aww. He told you he's getting cold. You're getting my toes cold. Yeah. You're doing yeah, a great main, job. Main thing is just support them really good and just be gentle and make it a good, calm experience for them. 
certainly don't want to do anything. Like, if they were to get water in their nose or something in their eyes, it, it could, you know, cause them to have a bad memory of bias and make it more pleasant. You just always want to make it as pleasant as possible. Have, like, dim lighting like this. Try to do it um, in a warm area. Mm -hmm. Obviously, not near a drive is not the best situation, but about the best we can get here. Just use a Obviously, never leave them even in what you think is the safest way. If you have a special mat or something in the bathtub and you think, you know, they're totally safe, there's only an inch of water, you know, I can go leave to answer the phone or something. Obviously, never do that. Whoop, don't let me lose your head. And you want to do like the, the feet and the genital area last. Of course, baby feet are not really dirty, but mm -hmm. as they get older, they will definitely get into a lot of stuff. I probably got this water a little bit more sudsy than I should have, but because we don't want to leave a lot of soap on, but he's, he's absolutely fine on that. And if you do a kind of a tag team thing where you're helping each other, one of you could put a towel in the dryer and get it nice and warm so that when he comes out, he has a warm towel you want to And just be very careful. They're slippery, so make sure you have a good grip. No, he's okay. cold. Head and... You can tell his lips. I'm gonna get him a, a hot hat and blanket. See how I'm, even though I'm working on the head, I'm keeping the rest of the body covered so it's not exposed to air. Mm -hmm. And they lose a lot of heat through their head, so definitely want to keep that covered really well when you try the other areas. And I'll let you kind of work on that, and I'll go grab some hot and Okay, this is the mama. This is me.